WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. Let's take a look at where everything kind of closed. You have the E-mini up about 0.06%. Same with that SPY. The Russell Futures down about 1.15%. NQs up about 0.2, and then the composite itself sideways in the Dow futures, sideways to the downside, down 0.18%, and same with the Dow Jones Industrial, down around 0.12%. Gold flat right now, silver, I'm not getting any data on that, uh, but I assume roughly the same. And then copper down about 0.78%, but we are in that four area. What a, what a move down in that metal for sure over the past uh, month, I would say. Uh, crude oil off about 1.72%. You have Tesla still roaring up 5.69. What is my boy Rivian doing right now? Let's take a look. Closing up about 0.49%. Yeah, 1629. Nice. And how about Lucid? Up about 2.37%. How about that? Interesting. Again, you have Rivian reporting on August 6th. Let's take a look at Boeing. Now, they got some decent orders. You have a uh, potential new CEO coming in, which is super good uh, for that company. This is the highest it's been, uh, you know, since, what, April 9th, right? You're just cresting over it right now. I still think one of the biggest crazy things that not a lot of people are talking about is Starliner not working. And I guess the astronauts, it's just reading how NASA and Boeing are dealing with uh, essentially what is their thrusters on the return capsules not working along with the helium leak. It's a really good exercise in like, I don't know even what I can call it, uh, but maybe like corporate dampening like uh, of, of delivery of news. So these guys are not necessarily stuck up there because they can leave at any time. They can use uh, the, the, the Russian capsules to get back to space. Uh, but how they're spinning it is solid. And I mean, I guess this is to be expected where you where you have problems. Um, but these guys have been up there for like, I think an extra like three weeks over the time they're supposed to return. And essentially they're saying, hey, we're gathering a bunch of data. We're gonna actually, we really wanna keep them up there right now. This is good for us. In the sense that uh, if when this uh, kind of capsule enters back in the atmosphere, uh, it'll be completely destroyed and burned up and we can't test it any further. And it seems like people aren't really concerned about it, at least the shareholders. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. We have Tom O'Brien on tomorrow at 9 a.m. We have Basil Chapman following close after at 10 a.m. And then Steve Rhodes, Larry Pesavento, and then Tom O'Brien. I hope you all have a great rest of your day.